What's lingualized occlusion? When we all went to school, we were taught that denture teeth are held together. And it's much like our knuckles. They're held together, there's very little gapping there. They work in balance against each other, there's very little spacing. What lingualized occlusion is, is me tipping my knuckles up so that I only have one stream of contact now against the tooth. So what it does is by tipping the buccal contacts up out of the way, you're creating freedom. Then the only the lingual cusp of the upper is in contact to the central fossa of the lower. Here is the lingual cusp of the upper. That lingual cusp corresponds into the central fossa. So when you close in, that cusp goes into that fossa. This fossa now works and balances on the guiding planes of the lower. And it also can retrude and protrude. So the black markings are the directional aspects that this cusp can move inside the articulator. So when you show working and balancing, that's the lingual cusp working within that lower fossa. What does that do? That creates less contacts. That creates more flexibility, more freedom. Why is that important? That's important so that when you're chewing, you imagine, we always don't chew in the same spot over and over again. You need a little bit of freedom and flexibility while you're chewing through the food, through the bolus of food to allow for torque. So it creates less chance of a deflective contact, which would manipulate the denture, which rocks the denture. So lingualized occlusion creates more flexibility, less chance of destabilization, and a better fitting denture.